For those of you just joining in, we'll be starting at 8.05, so two minutes. All right, everyone, welcome to the clock cut match. Excuse this quick hiccup. Here we are, welcome to the clock cut. My name is Zachary Miller. I'm going to be streaming this match today for you guys. Today we have the last match in the first set of group D, um, Jacob Chambers versus Sun Min Chi, or better known as Martin Sun. Um, there is a little bit of a hiccup today with this match, uh, if you won't mind me reading this little mini script here, um, in this chat here, or in this notepad. Um, cool, alright. So, this match will be partially live today due to heavy scheduling restraints involving Martin's End, uh, Martin's solves are pre-recorded, and the times are not revealed at this current time to Jacob. He does not know what Martin has gotten, or any other of these competitors. The only people that know who Martin got in this competition are me and Carter. <laughs> Jacob will still complete his solves live on Twitch, while Martin's are played on a pre-recorded video. Uh, the video will be made public after the match is over today. Jacob will receive the same scrambles as Martin in just a quick moment, and there will still be 30 minutes of stoppage time. Jacob, does that make sense to you today? Yep. Awesome. Cool. Let me go ahead and exit out of this. I'm going to go ahead and send you those scrambles, so give me a minute to do that. Um, I'm going to switch over to this, so... Um, actually, I'm going to switch over to this graphic just real quick so I don't leak my DMs because that'd be bad. Um, all right, Jacob, attached is a PDF file of all the tea noodle scrambles. You'll be using all the scrambles generated, so like the averages, like one through five on each page, ignore the extras. Okay. Should I start scrambling the first one? Um, so that was actually what I was about to go into. Uh, would you, since Martin is not here, would you like to go first, or would you like to have, quote-unquote, Martin go first? Uh, could I have Martin go first? Yeah, okay, awesome. So, as mentioned, we will be having Martin play on pre-recorded video today because of his scheduling constraints. So, we'll be going ahead and playing that video momentarily. Let me go ahead and get that switched over and working. Because I do have to switch tabs over to that. Properties. Alright, so here we are. So Martin will be going first in the snake format, which means 
that, you know, um, so for viewers that are not familiar, the snaking format will be person A will go first, then person B will complete their solve, and regardless of whoever wins the point, person B will complete the next solve first, and will keep rotating back and forth. So each competitor during the middle of the match will be doing basically two solves back to back. Today there really isn't a competitive advantage really gained from this, but we're still going to follow this just to kind of um, still simulate the rest of the competition and to not um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and play Martin's Solves in just a minute, so here we go. Okay, so here we have Martin on a, forgot exactly when this starts, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and move a little faster to here. See, so uh, Jacob, if you don't mind muting me on your end, because I'm going to be talking about the scrambles. Wait, before I mute you quickly, do I start scrambling my scramble one now? Yes, but don't start finish? solving. You might need okay, to cool. watch the stream a little bit. Martin's starting his first. Martin's starting off there with a solid 524 as his first solve. And if you can still hear me, Jacob, you can go ahead and go. Now that we've seen what Martin has gotten, we're going to go ahead and move to Jacob's attempt on that first scramble. Was that a DNF? That may have been a DNF. Let me just ping to make sure. Alright, so Jacob did record a DNF on his first solve, which means that Martin will go ahead and take the first point in this match. That was wrong. There we go. All right, so Jacob will go ahead and now start with the second scramble, and I'm going to try to get someone in um, at immediate um, to go ahead and ref this match because this is going to be a struggle for me to go ahead and repeatedly ping Jacob to go. Let me find a solution to this real quick. I'm going to start scrambling the second one. Jacob will now go ahead and start with scrambling the second one. Let's see if Jacob can recover from this DNF on solve two. This one is a interesting scramble because this one has edge cases and two corner cases on the same scramble, if I remember correctly. Little bit of an overshoot there, but shouldn't be too big of a problem. Still solved the clock there, and that's all I needed a 570 for Jacob Chambers. Let's go ahead and see what Martin got on this scramble. If I remember correctly, he does something a little interesting here. You'll see it in a minute. He's actually going to switch clocks in the middle of his average. So I'm going to fast forward the video as he scrambles, but he is now using different hardware. Let's see what Martin is able to do on this second solve. You can see those two corner skips in the lucky case that I was talking about earlier. Oh, an overshot on that first side. I don't know if you saw that, but he didn't get to 12 o'clock, and now he has to correct corners. 
the slow timer stop for an 11.44, so Jacob will take point two there for a 1-1 one, one tie. For the snaking format, we will be doing a third, Martin will be doing the third solve first. Martin actually looks like he's taking a quick walking break on this video, so I'm going to fast forward until he gets back. There we go. The magic of video. And here, I'm going to point this out again. He may switch clocks again. No, he doesn't. He just moves his other clock. All right, let me just fast forward so he scrambles this so we don't move behind. Oh, and he overshoots again. That's the second time. But he still managed to get a six out of that, which is actually kind of incredible if you think about it. Let's see now what Jacob can do in this scramble. He is good to go. Let me send him the call. There we go. Another kind of similar overshoot there, but still solves the clock, and that's going to be a 482, so he will still take the point there, although both competitors did not record the times that they ideally wanted to on that scramble. Um, so now Jacob will go ahead and start with scramble 4 in our snaking format. of the competitors pointing out the pretty cool feat that Martin pulled off with getting a six with three flips. Pretty incredible. Both competitors seem to be a little bit nervous going into this match. This looks a little more quicker, but Jacob's safety to prevent a DNF'd edge that's going to be a 520 for Jacob Chambers. Marden might look to capitalize on this next solve. Let me go ahead. Did he switch clocks again? I think he did. Very interesting maneuvers that Marden is doing in this average where he is using new hardware on nearly every solve. You can see that lucky case with the edges there. Nothing really on this side though, but he's gonna start with this side first. Kind of a Z2 type flip there. 535 will still solve the clock, 525. Jacob, I believe, got 520, so he will take that solve. And now, Me ping Jacob again. Martin will go ahead and start with fifth solve. Someone in the Twitch chat is mentioning that someone might be, that either Jacob or Martin, I don't know, the context might be sandbagging. I don't think so. I think they're just both really nervous. Um, but you can see from this that there is a lucky case on the front that Martin will go ahead and start with. Very quick flip. 
a little bit shaky on the corners there, but he still gets a 5-11 out of that one. So a pretty solid solve there for Martin. And now we're going to go ahead and flip back to Jacob, and we're going to have him go... And I just realized as well that the stopwatch is not working. So while Jacob does his solve, I will go ahead and get that working. Um, all right, a solved clock there for Jacob. And a 391. That will go ahead and get Jacob another point. So let me go ahead and put that into my text properties. We now are at a 4-1 lead for Jacob Chambers. So I got a... So now Jacob will do scramble 6. So he will go to the next page of the T-Noodle PDF and go with scramble 1 because we had to pre-generate scrambles with T-Noodle for this. Jacob looking to continue his lead. Very quick flip. DNF. DNF, all right. So Jacob will DNF this solve. So let's go ahead and see what Martin will go ahead and do in this solve. I think he might be switching. He's going back and forth between his two clocks. He might be using the other clock to just do some warm-up turns, but he's. this is something we haven't seen yet in this clock cup, where a competitor might be having issues with their hardware. And Martin will easily take that next solve with a 399, his first sub-4 of the competition. So now it will be a... 4-2 match still in favor of Jacob Chambers. Because of the snaking format, we'll be having Martin do another solve. Oh, that is my fault. I forgot to change scenes. So, on that last solve that you guys missed, Martin got a 399. However, since Jacob DNF'd, the speed of that solve really did not matter. But Martin is now doing his next solve. Thank you so much to the Twitch chat for pointing that out. Martin with a uh, slower solve than usual, but still solves 702. All right, now Jacob is getting ready to go. I apologize for the interesting format of this stream. Jacob is now on stream. Jacob looking to get back a point that he ne dearly needs after that seven. Looks like he had an issue with corners on the back, but still gets a 484 fast turning we'll go get him up to 5 2 Jacob will go ahead and now do scramble 8 we'll keep him on The 
the scramble is a rather interesting scramble, as you can see from that light side. A lot of interesting things you can do with that backside. Solved clock for a 472. Let's switch over to Martin. Martin there gets a very decently fast solve for a 433, so we will take a point there. So that is Martin's third point, and the first kind of normal point sequence of the comp for these two solvers with both of them, they're getting fours. You can see that will be, there is a lucky case on one of these sides, a really nice light side cross. Really fast turning there for what looks to be a low four, 429. So now we will get to see what Jacob will get to do on this solve as he will be scrambling the next attempt. Solved clock for a 394. Very nice solve there by Jacob Chambers. He will go ahead and take point nine. Because of the snaking format, Jacob will continue as we go to solve 10. see if I can notice anything from this scramble. Another one of those easy crosses from the looks of it. Very nice backside for Jacob. Solved. And a 369. Another great solve from Jacob. As we will see now what Martin will get on this scramble. I do not think that Martin's solve there will be a 369. Yes, 499. So Jacob will take one point there for a 7-3 lead. Martin will now go ahead and start us off with scramble 11. And you can see that there are some really nice edge cases once again on these scrambles. Martin needs to take advantage of this here, and he does. That looks like a pretty impressive solve from that angle. I will need to wait to see the time. A 330, one of the fastest solves so far of this cup. Great solve by Martin. So now, as we switch back over to Jacob, Martin got a 330. It'll be really interesting to see what Jacob gets in this scramble. Very quick flip. And solved. And that is a 360. So Martin will take a point on Jacob there. Very nice solve there by Martin. It's taking a point he needs against Jacob.
now as we wait for Jacob to do scramble 12, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what's going on later tonight. We got Vishwa Sankar versus Luke Garrett, two Americans battling it out tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. You do not want to miss this. This should be on the regular Clock Cup YouTube channel. This will be streamed by Carter Williams and me later tonight. Very nice solve there by Jacob for a solid 386. As, as usual, we will transition over to Martin to see what he will be getting on this solve. little bit shaky on that Y2 flip there, but he does get a 428 there, but that will still not be enough. Jacob Chambers will take another point and regain his four-point lead on Martin's son. I apologize there. There was a little mistake with the spacing on that. There we go. So now Martin will continue and start the next scramble. After this solve, I will ask Jacob if he wants to take a halftime break, because I did forget to start the stopwatch, but I have been keeping a minute count in my head. Looks like a little camera issue there for Martin. I'll go ahead and skip by that. That looks to be the previous solve. Yes, that was the previous solve. Let me go ahead and let him fix his camera. There we go. This is what I get for not pre-watching the VOD before I start. Four fifty-six there for um, Martin. Sorry about not being able to comment on that specific solve, um, as there is some interesting discussion going on in the Twitch chat right now that I might need to monitor as I tell Jacob to go ahead and start his solve because we didn't get a ref and call to help him start. So I have to manually tell him to go. Jacob with a solved clock and that will be a 437. So we'll take the point there. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, over Martin's 456, so that will be a 9 4 lead. I'm now asking Jacob over Messenger whether he wants a five minute break. Yes. So we will be taking a five minute halftime break. So we will be back in about five minutes to continue this really competitive match.
All right, everyone, welcome back. Ignore this bottom part. We have to do a very subtle um, change to make sure we continue this match on. Since we did stop at 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and start a 15-minute stopwatch as soon as Jacob resumes. Um, let me just go ahead and make sure that Jacob knows to go. As soon as Jacob starts his um, solve, we will go into the second half, as we used 15 minutes in this first half to go 9-4. I apologize about not starting the stopwatch earlier. It will only go up to 15. Jacob is now going, so we will start the stopwatch. A very nice solve there by Jacob for a 396. Let's see what Martin can get on this scramble. It looks like he's now using a cover. Ooh, a little slow on the corners there for a 511. So Jacob will take point 10 there. Jacob hitting double digits, the first one to do so today. Oh, God, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> but we will now see Martin go into the next scramble. You can see some nice edge cases there already, just from a quick glance. Looks like Martin will save that edge case for last. A little shaky on that first cross. And will record a 554. Now we'll be going back to Jacob Chambers, where he will be going ahead and doing his next solve on the same scramble. My stopwatch is not running when my tab is not on it, so I apologize about that. But we're now at two minutes. Good news is, is it looks like he beat the time to beat of 555 with a 466. So it does look like he will get point 11. Jacob is now four points away from winning and it looks like he'll be going into the next scramble now all right so in terms of this match jacob only needs four more points to win martin's only hope is that he's essentially we're now at the point of the match where the lead is so big Martin's only hope is to force a draw. A very nice solve there. Aggressive timer stop for a 363. Let's go ahead and switch over to Martin. Well, Sean, uh, you did mention the quote-unquote Vietnam cover. I think it's just better that he's not using his hands. But it looks like he did have a little bit of a fumble on corners, which will get him a 593, which I believe beat Jacob's time. So, um, I believe that would be a 12th point for Jacob. We will now be getting into the next Martin solve. That is the scramble. Martin. 
much faster TPS there for Martin. Records a mid four with a 443. 443. Now we will go ahead and go to Jacob to see what he can get on this scramble. Time to beat is a 4.43 as he does a, like U5, U-5, gets a 553, which means that Martin will take this point, slightly shortening his lead, just like we were talking about earlier. Now Jacob will go ahead and get started with the next scramble. You can see that line of edges. Jacob immediately notices and will save that for the back. Very quick corners there as he solves the clock for what appears to be a 362. Once again, switching to Martin. See that line there too. see how Martin handles this line. A time to beat is a mid three. Looks like he's not going to get it due to a fumble with corners again. That's been a problem that Martin's been having all day. Solves the clock for 44, but that will not be enough. Jacob will